Hello, my name is Trevor Lewis, and I'm coming to you again from the Voyager Middle School STEAM Lab, and today we're going to be talking about X-Design. This is the first in a series of basic X-Design videos, and this one's going to be about sketching. So this is uh, a, a few different sketches drawn on different planes. You can see that we have a variety of different shapes, some freehand drawn, some um, specific shapes drawn on all three different planes. And as I move around, you can see them from different angles. If you want to view one of these sketches straight on, you can click on it and choose the normal two button to view it straight from that angle. Um, you can also do the same thing with the planes. You can even do that while you're sketching so that you can view that plane and you can draw it in a way where you won't have a distortion. So let's dive into the interface. So this is X Design. You see that I've full screened this. So um, if I'm you're in the student dashboard, you can hit full screen. Um, this is going to be an example about sketches. So right now, all I have this one 3D shape, but there's nothing here yet. I just have the XY plane, which is that one. I have the YZ plane, which is that one, and the ZX plane. So in X Design, Z is up just like on most 3D printers. So I can choose to, to uh, use any one of these planes to sketch on. I can select it in advance. I'm in the sketch menu and I can choose one of these shapes. Or if I don't have it chosen in advance, if I have nothing selected like this and I choose one of these shapes, like I'm gonna choose a circle. The first thing it says is which plane, which flat surface do I wanna draw on? So I have these three options right now unless I make extra planes, which we cover in a different video. So I'm going to click on this one. It's going to create a flat plane, and I can draw anywhere on it. It doesn't have to be on this little blue square. It could be anywhere at all. So to draw, I'm going to click to start the center of my circle, and then I'm going to click to finish my circle. And if I like my sketch, I can click this green check mark to, to save it or the red X to cancel it. And it, when you do that, it encapsulates all of those shapes into one sketch. The reason that you want to maybe have multiple sketches for multiple shapes is when you go to start doing things with these as a feature and you say, I want to take this sketch and extrude it, you'll see that they're all extruding the same amount. So there's different ways of doing that, even though they're on one sketch, but it's easier if you want to have them grouped together like that so you can extrude them all together. But you might want to make sure that you have separate sketches if you don't want that. So let's delete this. So we can go back to my sketches. All right, let's grab a couple more sketches. I'm going to go back to the sketch tool. This time I'm going to pre-select the YZ plane, and I'm going to use the spline tool. The spline tool is really convenient because it allows you to sketch basically any shape by clicking along the shape. And if you click more often, you can add more details. It'll create a nice curved line. You can see I double-clicked there, so I started a new one. But you can also hit Escape on the keyboard to stop your spline. And then you can use the spline tool again to connect up and have sharp points on your spline. Escape tool to stop. There's an enclosed spline. So we can also use some of these other tools that have features. So I'm going to grab this tool. I'm going to grab a different plane this time. Last plane I haven't tried yet. So when you're drawing a polygon, you can see that you have a number of sides here, and you can change the number of sides, hit enter, and it'll change the shape. You can either have it inscribed, with a circle inscribed, or you can have it circumscribed so that you're drawing the circle and the shape ends up inside the circle. Okay? So that's how you can sketch things using these sketch tools.